Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to another one of my Hans of Iron 4 videos. It's been a while, hasn't it? And with all the changes in the Balkans, there's one thing I want to try. See, one of my favorite countries to play is Romania, and I want to see how it is affected by the changes introduced here. Regular difficulty, Iron Mode, historical focus is Romania. Let's go. Now, Romania has a very impressive and very flexible focus tree. Especially Balkans dominance is very nice because it lets you just take over the countries around you. And it used to work wonderfully before the changes in the new focus tree. Today we're gonna explore if it still does, and conquer some stuff around us. Maybe crush the Soviet Union, we'll see. First off, to do these we'll need more manpower, so let's institute royal dictatorship. We do start with a decent army, let's keep the mountaineers and switch everyone else to just infantry, as usual, and train up a lot of cavalry to also be switched to infantry later. We want a lot of troops in the field. I'm torn between mass assault and superior firepower, both will work nicely for us. I guess I'll do superior firepower this time, just for variety. Research some research bonuses and actually a naval invasion option because if we have to fight say Bulgaria it'll be much easier if we land troops here so production just infantry weapons one submarine and some convoys let's cancel the support equipment and the artillery and the tanks now my mountaineers need some support equipment but I should have enough from what I have at the start and some civilian factories we might need to give these to the Soviets temporarily so let's not build there that's about it unpause well, let's go and buy some steel from France we have a very problematic king, but it's just money. Deploy troops, as many as we can, need to be in the field. Rhineland happens, and Turkey remilitarizes as well. Now we continue to revise the constitution because we need uh, the manpower, but after that we can move to conquering people. I could change my manpower laws right now, but after revising the constitution it will become much cheaper. Transport ships complete, so if I wanted naval invasion against say Bulgaria, I now can do it, because I don't know if they'll submit to us or they'll fight me with the new focus tree. We need to test that. Construction, right, we've revised the constitution, that in itself will give us some manpower, but we will need even more. So let's start Balkans dominance, we can work on that already and start subjugating people, and also do the silent workhorse, extra political power, and extra manpower from limited conscription. That will work out great for us. And now we can have enough troops to subjugate everyone. Also, let's take 10 of these guys, do a new army, who's so gonna be our field marshal. You! And the other one will train up as a general, and do a naval invasion of Bulgaria. Not sure if we'll need to do that, but better be prepared. It's not like Bulgaria is in any position to resist our invasion, but if we are efficient, we will minimize our losses, if we have to fight them. Another villa, whatever. Let's continue the deployment. We need a lot of manpower in the field, really quickly. Superior firepower complete. Okay, that's a full army. Let's do three more to have two full armies and the invasion force. Spanish Civil War starting. One, two, and three. And this should be sufficient. Now let's cancel all this training. We do not have enough manpower to start our next focus, sadly. Not yet. But we have ten days of leeway on the focus. So, what we're going to do is just switch these guys into infantry, add them to armies, and wait for the manpower to reach the field. I guess I could have done it a bit earlier, but it's fine. And as soon as I have 400,000 manpower in the field, which should happen relatively soon, we'll be able to do our next focus. Come on. Alright, we're gonna lose a day or two, and that's it. Go on. And here we go. We can start with Hungary or with Bulgaria. I am already set up to beat up Bulgaria, so let's start with Bulgaria. We'll move on Hungary next. Let's go to free trade. Our king has his vices, but he is a Camarilla leader, which saves us a lot of political power early on. Let's activate all the orders in case we have to fight Bulgaria. Of course, if that happens, we'll just crush them and, uh, you know, let's be ready and set our fleets out to sea. Oh, I don't have enough convoys for the naval invasion. Well, I am producing them, so hopefully I will have enough soon. And again, they'll probably submit and always reassign one or two units. Then they won't need that many convoys. That's enough. Machine tools and the computing machine. Also, go aggressive because you don't have enough organization. Bulgaria submits. Cool. Extra troops. Now it's time to beat up one of the others. We could go straight for Yugoslavia, Greece or Hungary. Uh, I think we're best set for Yugoslavia. They're still weak, they can be strong, and once we do Yugoslavia, Hungary will be uh, very easy to take over. To be honest, they are already easy to take over by us, however, there can be some difficulties, and if we surround them more, it'll be much easier. So let's go after Yugoslavia. Bulgaria has some troops, give them to me. That should do it. Bulgaria submits, and we're still gaining power. It would be nice to go to extensive conscription, we do need to be at war to do it. We could get an infantry expert, or an offense expert, but, but I kind of want to wait. If I'm at war, maybe try to get extensive conscription. Romania is always such a relaxing game, unless you defy the Soviet Union and they crush you. Hmm, I don't have enough troops in the field. We want them all. Let's do another full army. Anti comet impact, sure. Okay, divide Yugoslavia. This unlocks decisions. This has been changed. Interesting, so I do have to invite others to do it or work on claims in the territories. This is weird. I see we could work on dividing them together with Hungary. Hungary, who would 
we could later subjugate with ally in Hungary. I wonder, can I subjugate them first? Let's analyze this decision. Invite Kingdom of Hungary. Seems like Hungary can be my puppet for this to happen. So, let's try and take over Hungary first and gather up some political power because these claims will take some political power. Yugoslavia is probably not going anywhere. Holiday. Sure, I forgot to click ally in Hungary, so we're a bit delayed on that. Let's hire an infantry expert. Concentrated industry. I should be gathering up more political power. If I go to war, I want to go extensive conscription and war economy. All right, Kingdom of Hungary defiant. Uh, victory is certain. To war. We get an immediate war goal against Hungary. Let's use it immediately. We don't need to call Bulgaria in. Now, split Czechoslovakia can wait. We're gonna do fortify the borders so that we can do His Majesty's loyal government. In the meantime, we will, of course, conquer Hungary. Going strong. I guess I should split the attacks a bit better. This is gonna cost us some manpower, which is a pity, but taking over Hungary early is a nice boon. Now, also, this should be the lowest priority. I'm kind of wasting guns on that. You know what? I'm gonna cancel it for now. Get reinforcements. We will break through eventually. France and Britain announce alliance. Perhaps we should hurry up. Right, let's see if I can switch my economy. No, and my manpower. No. We are too strong. No matter. And for war economy, we don't have enough war support. Well, that can wait. We would need to be in a defensive war, I guess. But let's do an offense expert then. That will help us break through quicker. And there we go. We're through. Go get Budapest. Go get Pex, Patch, Patch, this place. And that will deal with Hungary. You go around them. You also go around. And there we go. Hungary is mine. Now, I could pop at Hungary or I could annex them. But I think I need Hungary to be a side in the Yugoslavian thing. So let's puppet them. Now let's see if I can do the decisions. Yes, I can invite Kingdom of Hungary to divide Yugoslavia together. Perfect. And they are my puppet. So whoever gets the territory, we win. All right, let's station our troops on the Yugoslavian border. We could also go straight after Czechoslovakia, but what are their guarantees? We guarantee them. So I could go after them. Right, so after there is at least a claim in all of these territories, we will be able to issue an ultimatum to them. Good, here we go. Let's get a claim. Perhaps should partition Czechoslovakia in the meantime? I'm not sure. This will not take that long. We're not going to invite Italy. We don't need them. Let's present the ultimatum. Yeah, every state needs to have a claim. If Hungary issues claims on some of them, great. I'll spend less political power and Hungary will get territory. If they don't, I'll just get all the territory. In the meantime, um, yeah, I could do split Czechoslovakia, but I'm not sure if I want to divide my attention. Let's do His Majesty's loyal government instead. Hindenburg incident. It survives. Victoria is a possibility. Chinese stuff happening. Hungary is doing claims. Great, we want them to get stuff. The border goal is gonna be glorious. King throws a party, whatever. Bosnia, we are ready to strike. Come on, Hungary, get another claim, like here, for example. All right, Hungary took this, this, and this, which is a weird combination, but okay. To Croatia. I'd rather give this to Hungary, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. And once it's done, I should be able to present the ultimatum. Yes, we can. There we go. Either give me everything or fight me. Yes, they give us everything. This is actually perfect, you know, because Hungary is bordering Austria and Italy. Italy, and we're not. We will be once Italy takes Albania, but that's not important. Which means if I end up fighting the Axis, I can just use Hungary as a decoy state and not invite them into the war, and they wouldn't be able to do anything. So this worked out perfectly, even though it did cost me quite a lot of political power. So here we are. We have some territory, we have Bulgaria and Hungary as our puppets. Now it's time for Czechoslovakia, I guess. We might want to deploy some more troops. Yugoslavia submits. After Czechoslovakia, we no longer get those convenient events where they submit, we will have to fight them. Unfortunately, but necessary. Japan declares war on China. His Majesty's loyal government is done. We could get extra manpower from militarizing the Sentinels, but that also can wait. Now we split Czechoslovakia. Now of course we will get less than the Germans. And if we would get a war go from it, we could just attack them, which would be nice. I want to deploy these guys before attacking as well, so that we can seem more intimidating. Actually, two more. Lots of stuff happening. World tension going up. Probably no new guarantees will happen. Czechoslovakia is strong, but with the German involvement, it will be a non factor the problem is, if the Germans get involved, they get a lot of war score, always, because of how the game calculates it. So if we do end up going to war with Czechoslovakia, we will likely not be able to take much. However, we should be able to at least go to extensive conscription. Let's deploy the units, new army. This time, do not go aggressive. Czechoslovakia has a very good defense. I'm saving up political power, because if we go to war with them, and I could increase my war support a bit, then we could perhaps go to war economy. In the meantime, Hitler accepts. How about Czechoslovakia? They accept as well. Okay, we didn't get much but we did get it for free. We have another puppet. A puppet that only has one factory. No, eight factories. Yes, it didn't update properly. Eight factories. That's something, right? And Germany will be able to exert their dominance over um, Europe earlier, and I might ally them to fight the Soviets. We'll see about that. In the meantime, it might be time to crush Greece. I do have a navy. Greece has a bigger navy, but perhaps I could launch a quick naval invasion here. Or can I go across the Bosphorus? I cannot. Well, that's a pity. Another time then. Yeah, I should have have 
have delayed uh, the deployment of the submarine we've built until we took this territory and deployed it here. But it is a bit late now, isn't it? Anyway, get ready. Now we secure Greece. This time, be balanced. I made a mistake. See, I have a lot of sabotage going on here. Why? Because I forgot to prioritize garrisons. Always prioritize garrisons. I need more manpower. I think I made a mistake with this extra army. Let's disband it all. Well, not all. Let's give one unit to these guys and then disband the rest. I need the equipment and the manpower for garrisons. Three armies will be sufficient for now. I should probably do the Royal Foundation. It is right here and it's an extra research slot. Let's get the Captain of Industry. Secure Greece is complete. Right, now let's do the Royal Foundation. And are we ready to attack Greece? Yes, yes we are. And they don't really have a lot of troops along the border. I'm gonna switch to aggressive. Declare war on Greece. Calling in my puppets. Go. Has Bulgaria not been called in? It's fixed now. Oh, Hungary, you can come too. Go. As you can see, this here is empty. Greece seems to not be ready. At least not completely. Then please. Um, sure. All right, I don't have support equipment for the mountaineers. That's fine. It's all working out decently. Now the important part is to get to Athens before they can fortify it. Because it's very easy to defend. It's a bit chaotic, but we do have the upper hand. Okay, Athens is empty. They are reinforcing it, but we can pin them down and they won't be able to. Athens is ours and we're almost done. See, this is the difficult bit because if they're defending both uh, Corinthos and Athens and we're just in this one province, it's very difficult to break through even if we have the superior force. Go. Not gonna take much longer. Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot to do the conscription thing. I could have done it, I think. I need to pay more attention to this. Oh well, this ship has sailed. Let's get the commando expert. We do have some mountaineers and a military theorist. We do have the political power to do it. Just a moment longer and Greece will fall. Should we pop it or should we annex? That is the question, isn't it? Oh, are you not surrendering yet? Oh, here we go. Greece is a very decent puppet um, because they do launch naval invasions on their own and that's quite important. So I think we will go uh, the route of the puppet master. Now, well now we either prepare to fight the Soviet Union, we could invade Poland too, or we go after Turkey. We've done our initial conquests, now what do we do? Do we try to tackle Turkey, which can be difficult because we can only attack from here, here or here. We don't have the naval dominance unless Greece provides it for us. Or do we, uh, for example, get involved in China? But at the current state of the game this takes long and will probably not be too profitable for us. Or or we can just do nothing and wait for the Soviets to attack. Or we could try and get in on partitioning Poland. But no, that just hurts too much. Okay, let's go out to Turkey. We're gonna try a naval invasion because if we get the Bosphorus, uh, it'll be quite easy and we can probably do a naval invasion from here. So let's split the guys up a bit. Let's see if they're defending the ports. They are defending the ports. We'll try to land here. That will supplement our regular attack. We will also try to take over these ports here. I will first declare war, then wait for a little bit so that most of their troops should arrive at the front lines and then you'll launch naval invasions. Some troops here, some troops here and you will be reinforcing the naval invasions. That should do it. There are also some other troops I could requisition. They might become necessary. Actually, let's take the Hungarian troops. Why not? Antichrist of Austria, not a problem. Royal Foundation complete. We now have four research slots. There are some more cool things here. Oh, I don't have enough manpower to secure the Bosphorus. That is concerning, actually. That's gonna be a problem as operating under the assumption that I will be able to get them. Uh, no matter, we can wait a bit longer with uh, uh, this we'll get more manpower that should be sufficient. Still, I was hoping to attack them right away, not let them build up too much. Spanish Republicans defeated, that was relatively fast. Vast will be able to go to war economy when fighting Turkey, I think. Yes, I know I could go to partial mobilization, but I'd rather save the political power for now. Improved infantry equipment. Also, I should probably deploy another army. I do need that manpower in the field to be able to, you know, use the focus. Medium priority, just once. Yeah, Garrison is taking up quite a bit of manpower, isn't it? Uh, but no matter, once I do the focus will have enough. Sadly, it is delaying us quite a bit. If I paid more attention in the war against Greece, perhaps I could have been at extensive conscription now and, you know, that would speed everything up a bit. Right, now it's gonna take a while to mobilize that manpower, so I must do something else in the meantime and all parties must end. Seems like a good choice. Embezzlement scandal, hm, whatever. It's a minor glitch in the system, nothing major. Let's do improved computing machine. I know it's ahead of time, but the bonuses are very large. Also, industrial concern. Hm, actually, I should have started with infantry. Ah, whatever. Better guns. All parties must end. Do I have enough manpower? Not yet, no. But we can wait a little bit. Uh, we'll just need to deploy the ones in training, flip them to infantry, and wait a little bit. Not too long. Also, lower the priority of garrisons for a moment and increase reinforcements. One more manpower tick and the distribution, it'll all be sufficient. Should I wait or should I do one more focus in the meantime? We need 750, right? Yes. I can wait. It's gonna be a couple of days at most. Come on, distribute that manpower. Almost there. There we go. Secure the bus for 
progress. Do I need these guys? Not really, but they can be helpful. I will keep them in reserve for now. Go back to prioritizing garrisons. Support weapons too. The front lines here get balked easily, which is why I'm gonna do manual management. Cancel all the orders. All right, I should modify my template because I don't have the artillery or the support equipment to support them. Let's make them 20 with instead. Just pure infantry for now. We will expand that later. I need to lower the autonomy of my subjects when I have a moment. Did Turkey get any guarantees? Can I declare war on them? If I'm guaranteeing them, yes, I think I can. Peace in the world. Well, not for long. We're about to attack you. Actually, they're not really well defended, so let's activate them aggressively. Integrated support. Sure. Regimental combat teams. This will come in handy later, for example, when I'm fighting the Soviets. Secure the Bosphorus is complete. We will be attacking Turkey in a moment. But first, let's check uh, what our next focus should be. I think we need to invest in our economy. National defense industry. And let's declare war immediately. And call in our puppets. Oh, I forgot about the Air Force. Not like we have a strong Air Force, but we can still use it to help a bit. And immediately go into their territory. I am not activating naval invasions yet, because I want the Turks to move all their forces to the front lines, and then we will trap them behind our naval invasions. If all goes well, some micromanagement is going to be required here. Right, that should work. Go aggressive this time. Attack more manually. Maybe you can get Istanbul from the other side. That would be quite helpful. Hmm. The Turkish defense used to be much stronger. Is that due to the new patch? I'm just crushing them. Or do they know about my naval invasion and there's a lot of troops here? For now, we're pushing them very, uh, very well, so I don't actually need to activate the naval invasions yet. Try to take Izmir, that will unify the front line nicely. All right, I think it's time to activate the naval invasion. No, I don't have naval superiority, do I? I do not. That's a pity. Maybe there'll be a small glitch or something that'll give me momentary naval superiority. Bulgaria approaches the German Reich. Oh, what? Oh, my puppet. Is there another mistake in the focus tree to make Bulgaria break free from us, for example? No, there has Bulgaria is fully independent. That's better. So, seems like the naval invasions will not work. But that's not really a problem, since I'm really making nice gains here. Oh, um, you are on aggressive. You should not be on aggressive anymore. Be balanced. Hmm. Pity with the naval invasions. I guess I can reinforce this attack. If I send my planes, will that help with the naval supremacy a bit? I don't think so, but we can try. I don't remember. No. Maybe if they go to repair or something, I'll have a momentary possibility of winning this. We're not moving because of supply issues. So I actually need to be aggressive. All right, let's be aggressive. Out of Ribbentrop. A problem? Just not my problem. And we're across. Nice. Agrarian reform. Oh, I forgot. We need war propaganda. It's a bit late for that, but it's still something. Okay, move. Take them out. I didn't managed to do a naval invasion, but they did. Yeah, I overestimated my naval strength, but we're about to crush this. It's not really an issue. And they must have dedicated some forces here, which is absolutely okay, because their defense will be weaker. And this war will take a toll on us, but it's fine, we'll recover. Maybe I was too hasty to attack the Turks, or too late. Both things can be true. And we've connected. That's going to do wonders for our supply situation. Izmir is about to be taken as well. Good. Now we just advance into Turkey, gradually. Still, pity about the naval invasion. Izmir's taken. That's much better. Oh, naval invasion's launched. I did not expect this to happen. Almost forgot about them. Now let's see if they can survive. And looks like that's gonna be difficult. But their sacrifice will help distract the enemy and will also help the others move forward faster. Oh, and we did get a port. Great. So this army that was battling their naval invasion is going to land here and attack deep into Turkey. In the meantime, you guys serve as distractions. At this point, they're done for. I will lose some troops, sadly. So optimistically, we now share a border with Italy. Not a problem, because I intend to join the axis against the Soviets. Uh, we're gonna leave Batman alone. Let's not provoke Batman. As you can see, they don't have enough troops to cover all the front lines, and our advance has sped up significantly. Now, we're not going to puppet Turkey. I don't think they fixed the focus tree. Where was that? This is big, isn't it? See, they can demand Bulgarian subservience if they're my puppet, for example. And there was a thing where they could just stop being a puppet on the whim and join the axis instead. I don't want to risk this. So, Turkey is going to be a next. Mm, Greece, do you have any cores? here. So we're going to just take everything. Romania. Good. Now, did I forget to focus again? What should we do? Well, what we should do is invest in our economy and prepare to fight the Soviet Union. Now, there is an important decision we need to make. Do we give up this territory to the Soviets to buy ourselves more time, or do we try to resist them right away? Both things could work. I have to think about this. If we were to build some forts in this area, it might just succeed. Now, we can't take the Soviet Union alone, but um, eventually the Germans would fire them and then we would have to the upper hand. Or alternatively, it's just a little bit of territory. We can give it up, build our strength up, and wait for the Germans to fight the Soviets. There's also enough world tension for us to justify a war goal. I wonder if there will be guarantees. So let's try it, shall we? Let's do Iraq and Iran. 
and monitor if there are guarantees issued. I should have waited until the Germans attack, because then the Allies have something better to do. By the way, what is Germany doing? I don't know what Germany's doing, because Sudetenland didn't happen, because we gave it to them. I guess we'll risk it. Time to produce better guns. No guarantees from the Allies so far, but we just started justifying. This will finish in 180 days total, and the RAND will finish in 225, which means I can attack them simultaneously. And I think if the Soviets want our stuff, I will have to give it to them temporarily. Oh, guarantee on Iran. Let's cancel that justification. Maybe they will not send another one on Iraq. I probably should have just justified on Iran and ignored Iraq completely, or waited until the Germans attacked. Because Iraq is just a bit of territory and factories for us, while Iran has strategic importance. But well, it's gonna be fine anyway. Italy joins the German Reich, and Poland refuses this ultimatum. And here's my mistake. If I started the justifications right after Germany attacked Poland, there would probably be no guarantees, because the Allies would be busy beating up the Germans, or rather being beaten up by the Germans. They have not attacked Poland yet. That's curious. Strange. Really strange. Germany, what you doing? We do have a lot of war support, don't we? And France guarantees Iraq. That's a pity. Oh well, I've wasted a lot of political power on this. By the way, infantry equipment designer, please. Oh, and Germany attacked the Netherlands, but not Poland. Intriguing. Yeah, and now, well now I could justify in peace. But it's a bit late for that. Remember this and don't make my mistakes. Belgium and the Netherlands. That's a curious tactic on the German side. Or because I did the Czechoslovakia thing, I think. No, Poland's fighting. Anglo-Polish alliance. Alright, so uh, the sequence of events was a bit off, but the results should be as usual. This is gonna be another game where the Germans are weak and do nothing. I don't see Poland being defeated. Let's get our Prince of Terror. No, actually no. Let's build a spy agency and do some war propaganda. I have so much political power that I'm just gonna do partial mobilization for now. I should have done that much earlier. Let's do anti-democratic raids for some extra stability. Italian-Bulgarian military technology in exchange. And Poland is about to fall, sadly. Advanced computing machine. It takes a long time, but it's well worth it. Germany, hmm, I'm not sure how well they're doing. Doesn't really seem like they're doing too well. France even took some of their stuff. Maybe we should reconsider our priorities. Maybe we should leave the Soviet Union alone. Let's start improving our spy agency. And build a network in the Soviet Union. Poland capitulates. Motor Ribbentrop should be in effect shortly. If Germany cannot defeat the Netherlands, that means Germany is gonna be dead soon. Because the Netherlands, well, if they can resurge... Oh no, they have some nice bonuses. Essentially, if Germany doesn't conquer them quickly, they often even fail to get France. In that case, we might want to ally ourselves with the communists instead. And if we have to pay them in some territory, so be it. Denmark, Norway. Yeah, I really messed up with Iraq and Iran. I should have done Iran right after the Germans started fighting the Allies. Then the Allies would have different priorities. Cryptology. Oh, right, also, elusive gentlemen. And with localized training centers, I would like one German and one Soviet operative. Let's get a German one. Yes, I'm beginning to think joining to Comintern, or possibly the Allies, could be a decent choice. Unless Germany gets their act together. Right, we have a German woman, but she has no special skills whatsoever. Whatsoever. I still don't know who I'm going to side with. Let's build a network in Germany just so we know what's going on. Shock and awe. Once my industry gets better, I'm going to be uh, adding artillery and the like to my units. The Soviet Union is justifying war goal on us, which means we'll get the ultimatum for Bessarabia. I think I'm gonna give it up, because I still don't know who's gonna have the upper hand, the Germans or the Soviets. The Germans don't seem to be doing too well. The people of Bessarabia and Bukovina will get nice real estate in what used to be Turkey. As compensation. Yeah, Soviet Union demands Bessarabia. I could could fight them, I could resist them probably, but I'm not sure if it would be the right choice. So yes, you can have it. Bukovina, Bessarabia and Southern Bessarabia all have been ceded to the Soviet Union. Sad but necessary sacrifice. Expanding the university. See, if this persists like that, it will be more profitable to actually ally the Soviet Union and fight the Germans and the Italians. But the Soviet Union could still uh, just justify a normal war goal on us. So I must wait until they are the enemies of the Germans. Now of course if I were to attack the Germans now, it would probably secure an allied victory because they would have to pull troops back from uh, the borders. So there's really no universally right answer here. We fight the Germans now, we ensure that they don't destroy France and we win. However, we could get attacked by the Soviets in the meantime. On the other hand, if we wait for the Germans to fight the Soviets and ally the Soviets against the Germans, then France will probably have fallen by then, which will make defeating the Germans more difficult. Really, no universally right answer. I have to think about this and maybe have some tea. I've made my decision. We're going to attack Germany because we want them to not 
and defeat France. Unfortunately, we don't really need to worry about fighting Germany, because Slovakia and Hungary, if not called into the war, will protect us nicely. What we do have to worry about, though, is naval invasions. Also, there is a lot of resistance in Turkey and Yugoslavia. We might even get them rebelling, because we don't have enough manpower for garrisons. That is a serious issue. We will address that immediately, because I'll just uh, disband some of these troops. But also, that will not be enough in the long run. However, when we attack the Germans, we will be able to finally go to extensive conscription, and that will fix our problems. For now, though, make sure to take Albania, and we do share a border with the Italians here. We will want to crush them, if I can manage to click it somehow. Yeah, I probably won't be able to click it. Come on, offensive line. No, we'll have to do it manually then. All right, and half of you go to the other one. Yeah, that should do it. Yeah, that, uh, that resistance thing is really a problem. Let's do some war propaganda and anti-democratic raids. We do need the extra stability, and the war support will be useful. We will be in an offensive war, after all, and we will want to invest in manpower. And that will be a possibility once we declare war, because we'll be able to do extensive conscription. And atomic research, please. So yeah, that rebellion thing is really going to be an issue, isn't it? Fortunately, with the extra manpower from us disbanding these troops, uh, the resistance is going down. Unfortunately, we've missed out on a lot of compliance in the meantime. So I kind of messed this up. I should have reserved more manpower for garrisons. Now, since we've decided we're going to fight the Germans, let's send all our agents to Germany. And we can recruit yet another one. None of them are really good. And if we want to recruit another German, we need to wait a little bit. I should probably wait. Let's declare war on the Germans. Not call in any allies. Activate the attacks. We are so far away from the Italians, it's fine. Italy has been called in, and the allies want to send us land -lease. I welcome that gladly. I would also like them to invite me to their faction. I'm not sure they're going to, because I have caused some world tension. I'm going to accept some of the non-aggression pacts, but not with Poland, because I might end up taking their territory. All the land -lease, and none of the military access. I do not want them wasting the troops in our territory, we can handle our own territory. The Italians are moving in because my troops are still too far away. Can I get you guys moving faster? How are the garrisons? Getting better. Italy's moving into our territory. Can you guys move? It's not like it's a lot of troops, we're going to be handling them, but it's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Soviet influence in Europe. I need better agents. Oh, in the meantime, we can actually start preparing collaboration government mission in Germany. Let's go to extensive conscription now. That will help the garrisons tremendously. Still gonna need some guns for it. Oh, it's going to get better from now on. Expand the University of Bucharest. And now we can focus on army research. Or rather, army focuses. Foci? Well, I guess the proper form would be foci, because focus, because the plural of focus is foci, but, but it just sounds weird in this context. Oh, you finally arrived, haven't you? We just distribute ourselves? <laughs> this, this general is not doing a good job. I mean, he'll beat them up eventually. It's not like these whole Italian armies here. can handle them, but still, not doing a good job. Maybe I'll send you another army to help. As you can see, the Germans have stationed a lot of troops along our border, but they're not doing anything with them because they can't, because Hungary is not part of the war, which is exactly what we wanted to happen, because now they can't dedicate these troops to fight the Allies, and thus the Allies should remain standing, in turn making it much easier to conquer the Germans. Should we do service by requirement? Probably not, at least not yet. I can go to war economy, I can also go to total mobilization, and I probably should, but only once we have enough political power to also do women in the workforce immediately. Right, see, we're pushing back the Italians, good, we'll get some worker for this. Our stability is too low. We could get strikes. And we can recruit another operative. Good. Let's get the German one. You have no skills, but you're a German, so it's gonna be enough. Let's change the guys involved. Two Germans. He will maintain the network. You will do non-aligned and propaganda. Although, is it really gonna make a difference? Probably not. Ah, eh, whatever. We can do it. Forward observers. Take roads and destroy the Italian troops. Turkish resistance still pretty high. This is concerning. Shouldn't it be going down? Hmm, stability too low. I mean, I have it handled, but still. To make sure they get all the equipment and manpower they can get, while also providing ourselves with more stability. Our economy will have to wait a bit. Let's also improve worker conditions. Ah, bonus for infantry weapons. Probably get that. We're doing anti-fascist and anti-democratic raids. Both. Of course, it lowered our stability in the short term, but it will increase it greatly long term. Of course, still have some problems in Turkey. I wasn't expecting them to be that significant. Oh, actually, I can request manpower from our puppets. You would not give me garrison support. How about you? None of them would give me garrison support. I really need more manpower, don't I? Well, it is mobilizing. It'll be okay. The Allies are not inviting us into their faction. They won't let us because we've caused too much world tension. But they will give me military access. I don't intend to do all the 66. Don't want to use it too much. Yeah. 
yes, I know it's brilliant, and yes, I came up with it, but I don't want to use it always, just sometimes. Oh, and they're on a mission, a collaboration government in Germany. Good. Trotsky's done for. Fall of Nanjing. Bonus for infantry weapons. Actually, with reserve divisions, we'll also get more manpower, so we'll have to do that too. Agent injured. Unfortunate, but not a real problem. Then please, thank you. As you can see, with our intervention, Germany's unable to defeat Belgium. And of course, Belgium is defending France. Perhaps if I did that sooner with the Netherlands, uh, the Germans would be uh, under heavy attack now. But this is sufficient. Let's garrison all the ports, just in case the Italians want to attack again. Land lease. I do need more manpower. We're going to do service by requirement. Should we do all adult serve? No, that would damage our economy too much. Service by requirement is just a small hit to the economy. And we can offset that by doing total mobilization soon. Now we just wait, and when the Soviet Union joins, we push. New operation commencing. We will lose our spy network in Germany, but it doesn't take that long to rebuild, so it will be okay. Right, Royal Guards divisions. Now I can research the best guns. Here we go. Turkish resistance going down. It's all good. Although the compliance is a bit of a mess. Time to do full mobilization. This is going to damage our manpower, um, but we still haven't mobilized all of it, because we are on service by requirement, and once we have enough political power, I can do women in the workforce to have said that. Oh no, I can't, because we don't have enough support for a ruling party. No, I tell a lie, we don't have enough stability. Not a problem, we'll get that stability. Rebuild the network in Germany, it has been damaged. At least from the Americans, yes please. I keep forgetting to keep upgrading in my spy agency. And our reserve divisions, that is extra manpower for us. Garrisons seem to finally be sufficiently supplied. Everything is getting better. Right, we have completed our next operation in Germany. We can't repeat it right away because the network has deteriorated, but that's not really a problem. We had a bonus success. We are now at 75% collaboration in Germany. One more mission and we can move on to Italy. Forward observers. I need more stability. That's a pity. There's not much we can do now. We have to wait for um, other options to be available. I guess I can do press censorship. Once I have enough political power, that will increase our party popularity and thus... Uh, give us some more stability, not a lot more, just some. Right, let's do press censorship. And with the reserve divisions, more manpower. Do we want to do mountain guns and stuff like that? I guess we'll, we'll do the mountaineers thing. Support weapons. We can do another collaboration government thingy. Let's do it. Prepare and commence when ready. As you can see, the Germans cannot beat the Allies. It is very stale, isn't it? No matter, we'll get our stuff from Germany. Or maybe Italy. I think Italy suits us better. The Romanian language is actually uh, not typically Balkan. It is the Romance group. Very similar to Italian. So I think Italy would be a good expansion ground for us. Oh, we could capture the cipher as well. It's not necessary though. Mm, best guns complete. And finally, we have a good amount of manpower. Artillery modernization, because why not? So that we do not have an advisor available who would make non-aligned support increase. Oh, that's fine, we can do it uh, through other means. It might also be time to start reducing the independence of our subjects. Actually, military factories are better for that, because they're going to give them to us. Kingdom of Greece resists German pressure. Well, Greece is my puppet, so they better resist. Let's boost some non-aligned ideology. It's not like it's gonna make a difference to the Germans. Uh, we could disrupt them a little bit. They have gabbles though, so ideological stuff is not going to be very effective against them. Last doctrine, shock and awe. Agent killed! Oh, that was unexpected. I need to acquire more stability. I don't really have the tools to do so. We have to wait for improved worker conditions. Oh, we shouldn't have censored the press. Oh well, there's the mountain artillery. I'm not sure if that will actually be useful, but uh, we do have to spend that power, political power on something. I'm researching better artillery because I intend to kit my troops out properly before actually getting involved in a war. Alright, who can we get? We can get an Italian, we can get a German, or we can get her with boost ideology mission bonuses. No, I think I want an Italian. They are both tempting though. The Italian will go to, wait for it, Italy. We can reduce Bulgarian independence. Let us do so. They're going to give us their military industry. Well, a large portion of it. We're going to finish building those military factories. Uh, they're going to go to us mostly and also that will keep their independence low. Next, we do the same in Hungary. And those extra military factories are, of course, going to be quite useful to us. I'm going to need to start producing support equipment and artillery soon. But for now, let's have a healthy surplus of guns. As you can see, it's 1941 and Germany didn't even conquer Belgium. Dutch East Indies under attack, which means the United States should be joining the Allies. Do we want to do anti-air? I guess we can do anti-air. Yep, United States joined the Allies. Sadly, they don't want 
Lord to involve me in the faction. It's not really a problem. Perhaps the Soviets will be friendlier towards us. As the modern anti-tank guns. I'm not sure I'm going to be using them, but might as well be ready. Agent captured. Oh no, I need her for a mission. A mission that's almost ready to go. Right, let's use our Italian to rescue her. No, actually, that's not efficient. Let's use the other German, while our Italian friend is going to maintain the network in Germany. We'll focus on Italy a bit uh, later. Should I do rocket support artillery? Maybe. Why not? I don't usually do it. Let's try it. It's probably not going to be very efficient. <laughs> Nothing's happening here. Huh. Eventually, the United States will come and mop it up a bit, I guess. Japan is still fighting. This can take a long time. We don't want tanks at all. Let's ignore that. Just two shipyards. Could be helpful. Air Force I'm going to ignore. Hmm. Increased nuclear reactor construction speed. Could be helpful, but we don't really need it. So there's not much more to be done here. Let's get the free dockyards, I guess. Hey, Soviet Union. Would you like to be friends? Has strategic reasons to be hostile because they want my territory. Well, it seems like I'll have to use my own faction with blackjack and hookers. No, they're inviting me. Cool. I'm going to join the Soviet Union. Now we're part of the common turn, which means I should be able to become spy master and get extra operative slots. Wonderful. How's that rescue operative thing going? It is not because I don't have support equipment. God damn it. Oh, why did I stop making support equipment? I should have known it's going to be useful for operations. Oh well, a bit late now. Is this operation ready? Almost. I guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer. I will get involved in the fight against Germany. It's not immediately for Vladivostok. Really? The Japanese have pushed a bit. It's fine. We have the Soviet Union on our side. The Germans don't stand a chance. We've decrypted the Italian cipher. Now we just need the German one. Looks like I won't really have the time to kit my troops out properly. We'll use what we have. United Mexican States. Oh, I could get military access from the US. I'm not going to do all the 66 this time, so we're not going to be sending our troops into their territory, but if they acquire some territory here, this can become useful. I guess I'll build some forts in Hungary. I need to increase uh, the compliance towards us. We need to be constructing something. I could also send them in these, but I don't want to. How are the operations going? All right, let's change the operatives. You can go and you can go and commence. We have to rescue the other operative later. Who do we have here? That is a lot of options. He's good. Orator, Soviet, Hungarian. But I need an Italian. We did have an Italian here. Yeah, Gianna Sacchi. And it's gonna have to be her. But for now, you can rescue the other operative. And in the meantime, just build some network in Italy. Our participation is not great. We will fix that, though. Now, I should exercise my troops in the meantime. Do we need anything else here? Not really, no. Let's just do suppressed subjects, then. Time to start producing artillery. And also rocket artillery. And also anti-air. And some cars. Let's say two factories each. Maybe modify the template. I'm gonna be using the Royal Guards Division template, I think. No, no, there's too much artillery in it. Ignore. Let's copy this one. Just call it infantry and add some support. This one's gonna have support artillery, support anti-air, support rocket artillery. That's gonna increase soft attack quite significantly. And soft attack is very important. A signal company for better initiative and engineers. We could also use recon for very good results, but I want to try such a setup this time. Haven't used one like this yet. Of course we're gonna need to produce a lot of equipment to make it happen, but we're not in a rush. Not in a big rush anyway. We've rescued a uh, captured operative. Okay, good. You build spy net in Germany, he built spy network in Italy. We're gonna need both. Germany's alone against the world and they have not conquered France. So the outlook for them is very bad, but it will take time, as always. Italian Croatia has happened. Interesting. We can do war propaganda against them, but we don't need more war propaganda. Wait a minute, I'm in a defensive war? No, I'm not. How come? Did they declare war on Greece or something? Something weird happened here. I was the attacker. Ah, whatever. I'll take it. All right then, since there's nothing better to do, some press censorship. Hungarian independence going down. We can reduce the independence of Hungary and Greece. Let's do both. Now I will be getting a lot more factories from them. That's a lot of factories. Actually, let's go to 10 for each of these, I guess. Maybe 5 for cars. Oh, and support equipment, of course. Uh, 15. That should do it. Our operation to prepare a collaboration government against Germany has been completed. Which should mean total collaboration in Germany. Yay! Reduce surrender level by 30%. Not sure if it's gonna change much. Nevertheless, let's focus on Italy now. And maintain a network in Germany too. Now to kit out our units. Now to prepare our armies. How many armies do we need? Three, four, five? Probably five, but I'll need to go with all adults serve for that. It's a pity. Maybe I'll wait a little bit longer so our industry can work at full speed for a while. So what we're gonna do is create a new template. Oh, right, I can still use subject manpower. Let's have a look. Just 13,000. 
probably won't have much. 31,000. No, it's not worth it. Let's just use our own. Idea. How about you give me garrison support? Yay! 200,000 manpower. We were gifted by the Soviet Union. Cool, isn't it? Uh, Soviets are such a good ally sometimes. Create an empty tiny template. Or well, this time, small. And we want to go to five full armies. So we need two armies plus eight. That will be 48 plus eight. That's 56 units. All right, we do use the mountaineers template as well. Let's have a look. This one. Maybe we'll use the better one. Give them the rockets and stuff like that as well. Oh, I don't have the points. Oh, pity. We'll have them eventually. We have four brigades of mountaineers. Oh, we have some unassigned troops as well. Uh, let's not use the Bulgarian ones. Go home. For now. So I'm going to reduce this number by two. Switch these to regular infantry for now. And see how many of the mountain veterans or whatever that is we can use. With this many only. That's okay. Now all the regular infantry is going to be switched to the special infantry. So we can see how much equipment we need. And there's going to be a lot of equipment. Yeah, I'm going to need more factories than these. I guess 15 each. And 10 on the cars. I don't have enough military factories for this. We need to make more. Soonish. This will become subject territory soon. That's not a really a problem. We can build there. Deploy the units. Switch to special inventory. And here we go. Now I'm not going to have manpower once again. But I don't want to switch to all adults served just yet because my industry will take a hit. And I need my industry. We could get away with just using pure infantry, but I want to try something different. Collaboration government in Italy. How's the resistance? Manageable. We will have Bulgarian and the Greek units too. I suppose I could use some expeditionary forces more extensively. You don't need a full army group of my own troops. No, it's fine. We'll use you guys. Also some more mountaineers. China capitulated. It's fine, I guess. Japan is really doing well this war. Better artillery. Reduce Slovakian independence. That's gonna be some extra factories for us. That's a lot of land lease. Thank you. I don't have enough convoys to take it, but I will work on getting enough. Actually, yeah, I don't need those submarines. Improve worker conditions. We're actually catching up on equipment slowly. How are the logistics? We still need way more equipment, but we're getting there. Okay, I think it's finally time to get some more manpower. All adults serve. It's gonna take a while to mobilize, but we do have full wall support, so it's not gonna be such a long while. All right, also, the mountain brigades still need support. Anti-air. Rocket artillery upgrade. Yeah, I wanna kit my troops out completely this time and see how effective this set of support companies is because I usually just use artillery and then signal engineers recon and possibly logistics or hospitals this time we're adding much more firepower and we'll see how well that works come on military factories I need more of you let's have a look at our occupied territories all is well time for another collaboration government operation advanced rocket artillery oh there's Americans in Italy should really get going or they're going to win the war without me you guys are still exercising a bit well, let's have a look no more Italians here so all we need to do is get the field marshal level order something like this yeah really need to get moving germany is not long for this world go balanced yeah, manpower is mobilizing nicely i could do war bonds as well not necessary but can be useful and women in the workforce as well for rome that was quick wasn't it wait a minute how about my operatives need to distribute them so that my mission goes on all right guys get in position and then we'll attack the germans or rather get others involved in the attack on the germans they shouldn't be able to resist just check the equipment still need some more guns but just some all right stop the training activate the orders and i think we're good to go let's see how effective our current setup is once again let's review the template oops wrong template that's the one i usually use just infantry this time we're using 20 with infantry with support artillery and i air rockets signal company and engineers okay then let us call in greece bulgaria hungary and slovakia go should be superior intel advantage is helping actually i should have two agents on intel in germany yeah, looking good well granted the germans are fighting everybody else but even in such a situation it is is extremely difficult to push through the German lines. So it seems like the support companies are really doing good work. Usually I just use mass assault with pure infantry and that is enough. Well, it seems like this is more efficient. Yeah, support companies for the win apparently. As long as we don't run out of people and equipment too quickly. Ah, the mission in Italy has started. Good. But Italy, well... Italy is not going to survive much longer. I was a bit late on Italy. I wanted to take it for myself, but it seems like the Americans will get it. That's fine. I wonder if we'll get the Alta Conference. It makes it much easier to subjugate German if you know what you're doing, but it doesn't always happen. Perhaps I should have switched to all adults serve a bit earlier. Mobilization speed is a bit slow. But I am unbalanced, so we're not taking unnecessary losses. We're just pushing into Germany. And yeah, I'm surprised on how easily we're pushing into Germany. Seems like the artillery heavy setup uh, might be a good choice. Then again, they are stopping us in Czechoslovakia. 
Italy has capitulated. I got some stuff from them. Okay then, continue your attack. I need military access from whoever controls this now. Kingdom of Hungary. Oh no, this is British, I think, as well. I have military access. Good, because if I don't, we'll start making weird borders. Or rather, weird front lines. Seems like bombarding the enemy with rockets and artillery is effective. Would have thought. Right, on balance, this is working perfectly. We're moving into their territory gradually, taking them out one by one. What if I go aggressive? I wanna see. It will probably be less effective long term. I wanna see if I have enough power to just cut through German defenses. Because Germany is notoriously powerful. Even if you have the advantage, it is very difficult, oftentimes, to get through Germany. And it seems to not really be the case now. What is my war participation? Just 11%. That's not a lot. The problem with aggressive is that you often attack where you shouldn't, just to push at the advantage. And sometimes it is worth it because you want to defeat your enemy very quickly and so on. And sometimes, if it's a more long-term fight, you will lose your equipment advantage and a lot of manpower. So yeah, aggressive is working, but uh, I guess we'll go back to balance now. Of course, we've exhausted our resources to push on aggressive, so now we have to wait a bit to recover them until we can push again. Can I get some more garrison support from you? Yes, yes I can. Great. Switzerland gets involved. You don't see that often. We've realized the in-between-the-seas concept, just not as Poland as Romania. We have insufficient manpower. Yeah, mobilization is a bit too slow. Oh well, I can wait. And Germany has surrendered, partially thanks to our agents, because they lowered the surrender threshold quite a lot. Ah, oh, damn it. They've puppeted Germany. Well, I can do that to Italy. We're gonna puppet them with the cheapest state they have. Northern Epirus, why not? I guess I could release Albania there. How about Venice? Puppet them with Venice. So yeah, Italy is gonna be my puppet with just Venice. We're going to satellite the Republic of Slovenia. Puppet Italian Croatia. Satellite Albania. What's too much? Well, end the turn. Okay then, let's pass a couple times. Now select our subject Italy and give them the territory. A bit too much, I guess. And that concludes giving Italy to Italy. Now what can we take for our not a lot. We can take some. Rhineland, no. Why not Westfalen? Sure. Let's pass a couple more times and steal some German territory. This way we'll be able to access it. Königsberg. All right, who gets Schleswig-Holstein? Someone else. Okay, let's see what we got. Beautiful border go, I'm sure. I try to join the United Kingdom and... Oh, I got Poland. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still at war with Japan. And this theoretically belongs to Poland, but I controlled it. Because I didn't get military access with them and all that. Good, good, we got everything extra Poland. I can probably get it in the peace conference with the Japanese once they finally get defeated, which they will. Italy is now my subject. Kingdom of Italy. Puppet of Romania. Perfect. Sadly, uh, the Soviets were the first to get Germany as a puppet. I would have loved that as well. But you know, we got one major power as our subject. Two might have been a bit excessive, especially since we didn't really do that much. Normally I would end it here because I've pretty much tested what I wanted to test and so on. However, I kind of want to see what happens once we defeat the Japanese, especially what happens to Polish territory that I have occupied. Because you know, the game keeps changing, so we never really know what's gonna happen unless you test it. So let's send some people over here to our Soviet friends, and together we can perhaps invade Japan. It might be nice to annex Greece. This way we would inherit their fleet, and that fleet would make it possible for us to just invade Japan. But it might also not be necessary. You guys get going. Provisional government of the Socialist Republic of Germany. Yeah, because we did all that provisional governments. Yes, please. Now I wonder, do I still have that collaboration in Italy? Italy. I do. So if I annex them, I will be very close to doing the coalition government. Well, not very close, because we're at just 30%. So it might be good for us to just annex them. I think I'll do that. I want to give all the equipment I have to the Italians. Well, most of it. It would be too much clicking to give them all of it. Or just one monthly, whatever. Sending some equipment and building some factories in Italy. Now, our Germany is pretty small, but it's still going to provide us with a lot of factory power. Romanian Germany. And that's the stuff. Let's send all our agents to Japan. What? Socialist Republic of Germany grants Bulgarian occupation. Oh, oh, oh okay. Seriously. <laughs> okay, this... Uh, uh, paradox, I love you, and this... Uh... This, this DLC is quite interesting, but there are so many holes in the code. See, I have Germany as a puppet, and I have Bulgaria as a puppet. So Germany has agreed to give my territory to Bulgaria, and Greek territory to Bulgaria. Once again, I am the overlord of Germany, Greece, and Bulgaria. Germany decided to give my territory and the Greek territory to Bulgaria. That should not be possible. There should be a little
little check that's verifying if they're independent. But they're not. They're not independent. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry. The Socialist Republic of Germany. So my ally, the puppet of the Soviet Union, decided to give my territory and Greece's territory to my other puppet, Bulgaria. Also, that's very different. Also, not really. It should also not be possible. God damn it. Right, uh, this was not my core territory anyway, so it doesn't matter that much, but it annoys me. The point where I might just annex Bulgaria for it. My people are on their way to the Soviet Union, and they're not even using fast transport. They're just going there normally. And please, go there a bit faster. Follow of Hong Kong. And you have some fleets. Let's move them here. Death of Tsar Boris III of Bulgaria. Was it ruled by the Tsar? Not really, but it does not matter. Oh, how did you become fascist as my subject? Are you still my subject? Yes, you are. All right, at least that has not changed. Agent captured. Sure, I guess we can rescue her. And we can lower Italian independence. Let's do that. Lots more factories for us. Troops have arrived. I'm going to wait until the better naval invasions research, and then we'll plan the naval invasion of Japan. Afghanistan has joined the Japanese faction. Interesting. Anyway, time to plan naval invasions. All right, some naval invasions are planned. You guys get ready. <sighs> Why are you not using the fast transport thingy? Oops, the Soviet Union attacked Iraq. Iraq is guaranteed by France. There's gonna be weirdness happening. I might flip signs on them. So who's attacking Spain? Spain is at war with them because Spain apparently joined the Japanese faction. Okay, good choice, Spain. It's gonna be difficult to get naval supremacy in the Sea of Japan. However, I'm thinking that maybe if I send my ships there, the AI will understand that it is an important location and maybe send their ships there as well. If not, all this can last forever. Although I will have some more ships once I annex Italy. Might want to do the same to Greece. Greece is useful, but they also have ships that I need. Can activate the naval invasions. They won't execute right away, especially because the troops are not in position. Or well, some of them are. Anyway, once they're ready, I'm gonna send my ships out and hope the AI helps me. If it doesn't, then this will not succeed. Oh, looks like the Soviet Union is at war with the Allies. Very wise, Soviet Union. Very wise. It might be a good moment to turn against them. I haven't decided yet. Let's send our ships out and see if we can do anything. The Japanese have quite obvious naval supremacy here. It's not going to be possible for us to defeat them with just these guys. But I am hoping for the AI to do something about it. And if they don't, I'll use the Italian fleet, which I'm about to annex. Ah, oh, I need some more political power. Let's cancel the suppressed subjects thing. Lithuania capitulates. Everyone's fighting in my territory. We lost an agent. The game is running terribly slow because of all the battles in our territory. That is terrible, isn't it? Just look at the time. Soviet Union attacks Iran. We finally have enough political power to annex Italy. Let's do that. That will give me some more fleet. Let's add them all to this admiral. Let's add them all to the Sea of Japan. And once they move here, we might finally be able to invade them. Oh, you guys are in a bit of a pickle. You're supposed to just guard the port. Cast your orders and just go here. All of you. This is just terrible how slowly the game runs. At least I got Italy. And some very nice border gore. Now, I can't really play at this speed. This is just too slow. But I'm going to endure it just for a moment longer to see what happens when we defeat Japan. But if that doesn't go smoothly, I'm just going, not going to sacrifice that much to continue fleet so far away. Hopefully it will be sufficient to invade Japan. If not, I will be ending this campaign here. See, they can't fight. See, they can't invade my territory. But there's a little bit of German territory here that they can invade. Ah, oh, the politics here. Wonderful. Our ships have arrived and we only have 28% naval supremacy. That's disappointing. I was hoping the Italian fleet would be stronger than that. Well, in that case, I'm going to end the video here. But I will explain what I would do if I continued. But just look at the time. I can't play at this speed. Uh, so, we are in the common turn. They're at war with the Allies. We're not at war with the Allies. But we are at war with Japan. So what I would do is next I would annex Greece. Because Greece also has a large fleet. I would also possibly build some ships in the meantime. With that I would send all that fleet here to the Sea of Japan, invade Japan and finish this war. Possibly get Japan as a puppet to inherit their fleet later or just get some territory. Doesn't really matter. Afterwards we would still be a member of the Comintern who is at war with the Allies and not an enemy of the Allies. We could get involved fighting the Allies but that's not a good idea if they have the United States on their side and it's that late in the game. So instead, I would turn against the Soviet Union. We would, of course, prepare ourselves properly. Invade from here, 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 and from here, because we'd take some territory from Japan. We would also get military access from the Allies and crush first the German Socialist Republic, hopefully giving the territory to our collaboration government, Romanian Germany, and then invading the Soviet Union. With the help from the Allies and having, you know, defeated the Axis, that would really not be a problem. It would take a long time because the Soviet Union is vast 
fast and full of terrors, but we would crush them eventually. And yes, they have 7 million manpower, but even that is not enough against everyone else. So the Soviet Union would fall. I would puppet the Soviet Union, get all the territory here easily and cheaply, and then we would have Romania that owns most of Germany, all of Italy, uh, the Balkans, I guess I could annex them, and a huge chunk, if not all, of the Soviet Union. And that's how I would end it, because I hate fighting the Allies this late in the game. It's fun and early, but then doing all the naval invasions against the United States is just not fun. So yeah, that's how this would play out, and I'm going to end the video here. Conclusions? Romania plays differently, and you have to watch out for all the weirdness the new DLC brings, like Bulgaria stealing our territory, even though they're a puppet. Maybe best to just annex everybody. Nevertheless, it is different, but it's still effective. Romania is my favorite Balkan country to play, uh, because they have just so many possibilities with their focus tree. And I know the Yugoslavian, Bulgarian, Turkish and Greek focus trees are extensive now, however, they focus more on controlling what's happening in your country, and they're very complex. Romania is easy, simple and very effective. Anyway, that is it for now, it's been a long time since I recorded some Hearts of Iron 4, but I'm now back in the game and you can expect another video relatively soon. Let me know what you thought about this one, because I know I did Romania relatively recently, but I just wanted to see how it behaves in the new DLC. So yeah, let me know what you think about that, and maybe suggest another country that I would play, but not something around here. Maybe something in South America, maybe Asia, something like that. Or I guess I could do Scandinavia, something like that. So yeah, something in Scandinavia, something in South America, or something in Asia. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.